New Knoxville is closed because of the coronavirus, but they're still releasing educational videos to the public. Today, their Bringing the Zoo to You video is caring for the chimps. Today, we're going to be doing a feed for the chimps. I'm going to be using my chucket and throwing food from the buckets to the chimps. Uh, we will be doing stuff in the courtyard. So right now, we are trying to keep as little contact as possible with our animals. But they have lots of fruit. It's one of their favorite foods to have. They might get a little vocal, but it's okay. They're just excited and they're going to show they're excited. So you might be wondering why with our animals we're taking all these special precautions. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that non-human primates, such as the chimps and gorillas, they can catch a lot of diseases that humans can. Um, they can catch the common colds from us, to, uh, the flu, tuberculosis, um, things like that. Uh, we don't actually know if they can catch the coronavirus from us, but we're taking these precautions just to be safe. That is our alpha. Um, and then so the males, they would sort of help the alpha enforce his decisions. They would just make sure that the other chimps are following, you know, what he wants them to do. Um, and so our other two male chimps are Jimbo, who is stuffing his face with oranges right now. He cannot get enough. <laughs> and then we have Lou, who's hanging, literally hanging, <laughs> and eating an orange. It's pretty cute. So they eat a lot of fruits. Um, they also have greens. So iceberg, romaine, uh, kale, cabbage, things like that. And they also get a lot of veggies. So um, things like carrots, onions, sweet potatoes, white potatoes, all of your healthy veggies they eat. Um, and they're really great at foraging. So even things like small green beans that we give them, they will spend hours trying to go through the exhibit in the courtyard, getting as much of the food as they can. We found that grapes are definitely a hit with all of our animals. Um, I don't blame them. I love grapes myself. Who doesn't love grapes? Now here's a reminder though that these are troubling times for our friends at two local zoos. Zoo Knoxville has a great need of monetary donations to support their animal care. They've even set up an emergency relief fund. You can visit Zoo Knoxville online to learn more on how to help. Meanwhile, our friends at the Little Ponderosa Zoo and Rescue say they need donations of meat to help feed their animals. If you have extra meat in your freezer, Little Ponderosa would like you to consider donating it to them. They posted on their Facebook page that they need venison, chicken, and beef, but no pork. And you can visit both of their Facebook pages and websites for more information.